I am in Bend at the Holland's Head Demonstration Garden with Chris, who is a Master Garden volunteer. And this is an amazing demonstration garden. So Chris, why is it here? Well, uh, being water wise is really important in Central Oregon. And we really have a different climate and everything for people to grow things. So people come from elsewhere and they uh, don't know how to garden here. What they had before doesn't work. So we have a demonstration garden to show them plants that do grow here. And you know, there's so many good ideas. So when you come here, you bring your notepad and your camera to take ideas home. And Chris is very, very well prepared for us and you got all these wonderful tips. And so let's start right at the top with soil. So what do we need to know? Soil here is sandy and surprisingly, it's almost sterile. Oh. There's hardly any organic material in it, so we need to amend the soil. You can't just put a plant in and uh, expect it to grow. Yeah, and you know, we always tell people to add compost, so that we should all know that, that's important. And then what about um, temperature? Because we're up a little bit. Temperature is a challenge here. First is our elevation. We range from 1,000 foot to 4,200 feet here, so that gives us longer winters, cooler nights and hotter days during the summer. So that's a challenge. Um, secondly, we have um, great variation in our temperature. We can be 90 in the day and 40 at night. Wow. So that slows down plant growth. Mm -hmm. It's di very difficult to cope with that. Um, we have lots of microclimates, so your yard may be completely different than your neighbor's yard. Um, and we also have a very short growing season here. We um, have maybe an 80 to 100 day growing season. Our gardening season doesn't start until somewhere around the end of May, the beginning of June, and we start getting frosts in September even. And actually there are only 10 days in Central Oregon where we have never had a frost. Oh, wow. That is really a learning curve if you're just moving here, very much. much. Yeah, and um, that's really a challenge mm -hmm. uh, for people. And then moisture, because we know this is high desert. It says it right there. Exactly. We have very little precipitation, particularly during the summer months. So it's critical that you have an efficient um, irrigation system. Right. Um, irrigation usually here for most effectively is drought. I mean, drip. drip yep. Yes, yeah. And um, so um, this garden has four different methods of drip irrigation and a an high efficiency um, overhead irrigation method that people can look at, see what might work best in oh, their own garden. That's really a help, really, mm -hmm. to kind of see that and see how to put that in or to see how it works. Right. Excellent. And then, so plant selection, you know, I see a lot of my favorites here, but maybe we really need to be careful with that. Yeah, we don't have the luxury here of going to a nursery, seeing a gorgeous plant, just picking it up, taking it home and expecting it to survive. We really do have to be careful. Um, the, the USDA says we're in zone six. Actually, we recommend to people that they choose plants that are between three and five. Wow. Um, so um, plants really do need to be hardy mm -hmm. here, and that limits your s selection. We recommend also that people look to the Intermountain West plant list as opposed to the Pacific Northwest plant uh, selection books as well as educational material. Mm, perfect. Yes, yeah. that's a great tip. Mm -hmm. And then um, maybe about personal recommendations. Well, um, people here need to, um, before they actually go out and plant, they need to get educated. Mm. And um, OSU classes are a, a great source of educational programs, um, as well as the OSU publication list. And there is a section in there that's specifically for Central Oregon. Um, secondly, I'd say you need to um, be persistent <laughs> and patient. Um, it will happen if you learn about it, try different things, um, and then 
finally, I think you really need to be proud. Oh, of course. Definitely. When you've accomplished something. Definitely. A good, a guard, good garden here. And people a lot of times say you can't have a good garden here. Oh. And you really can. Oh. Uh, you just have to do it differently, probably, than you did it oh. before. And Chris, that information that you were talking about on the OSU website, you have it, the pamphlet, right here. Yes, I do. This booklet is the um, Waterwise Gardening Book for Central Oregon. And in here it gives you a great number of tips about how to do Waterwise Gardening. As well, there's this, a substantial plant list in here. And many of the um, plants that are included in this demonstration garden are in this booklet. Oh, that is wonderful. And you can go online to the OSU website and download this. You don't have to write away for the pamphlet, for the booklet. And if you go to gardentime.tv, we'll click you over to all those websites so you can get all the information. But if you're in the area, please come to this demonstration garden and really see it firsthand. It's stunning. And you can have beautiful gardens right here in Central Oregon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.